Hi, this is Matt, and this is a video on how to see how many bots are hitting your site. So I'm going to show you on Cloudways how to do this. Uh, the principles are the same, whether you're on a different host, maybe you're on SiteGround, uh, maybe you're on Cloudflare or something else. Uh, you can do these, you can do, uh, you can actually check on bot traffic through uh, whatever host that you have. The methods will just be slightly different. So like I say, I'm on Cloudways here. This is my Cloudways account and we have servers at the top here and we have applications. So in order to actually check your bot traffic, at least on Cloudways, we have to do this at the application level. So that means we have to go into one of the apps which we have on our Cloudways account. So I've got my film lifestyle app at the top here. So this is my filmmaking lifestyle site. So I'm gonna click on that one. And in order to find the bot traffic, we need to go into monitoring. And it's kind of uh, it's kind of hidden away a little bit. It's kind of nested uh, in here. So we're going to go with analytics and traffic. And we've got IP requests, and we're going to come across to bot traffic. So we go across. So it's uh, across to this tab. It's not set by default. And so we can see the bot traffic. So what this is showing us is all of these bot uh, requests, all of these hits within the last 15 minutes. So on this particular time frame, and you'll see right here, we've got the date and the time, and you'll see uh, how many requests have actually been made by these different bots on your site. So again, this is Cloudways. If your host uh, will be different as far as how you access this, but in general, you should be able to access this through your control panel. Uh, through your cPanel or whatever you're using to uh, with your particular host. So this is on the 15 minute time frame. So if we click here on a drop down, I can look at 30 minutes, I can look at one hour and I can look at one day. So one day is a pretty good gauge. So if I click one day, that would just take a little while to load. It's loading the stats. And I'll just give a little bit of a background about bots. In general, there's good bots and there's bad bots. You do want things like Google bots. You want things like uh, Bing bot. You want uh, those bots actually uh, checking out your site, uh, visiting your site. And uh, this is obviously good for indexing pages and uh, helping you rank and helping your pages rank. So you do want Bing bot. You do want Google bot. Google bot image as well. This is checking out images on your site. So that's important as well. As far as what you don't want, I mean, I've got quite high Requests. It's very high request. We've got over a thousand uh, requests there for SEMrush bot. So SEMrush is a popular SEO tool, as is Ahrefs here. So Ahrefs bot is also hitting a little bit, but not as much as SEMrush bot. Uh, dot bot as well, uh, probably considered in the bad bot category, as is Proximic. Yandex, you probably don't want either. So we got Yandex bot and Yandex images here. And in Security, if you're not using Security, uh, that's a security. Uh, CDN uh, kind of firewalls which I used to have it's still uh, doing quite a lot of requests uh, checking out different things on my site so once you've found out so there's two main reasons why you might want to actually monitor bot traffic a lot of people don't bother with this a lot of people don't do this but it's good practice so in general there's two different reasons one is to find out that the good search engines are actually monitoring your site and they're visiting your site and uh, this is obviously a good thing. You do want your sites to be visited by Google and Bing and ranked accordingly. If you see that they aren't visiting, that can be a red flag that something with your SEO is wrong. And that's probably why you're seeing your rankings drop. You might have uh, indexing issues going on in your site. Uh, you might need to monitor, uh, change something in your uh, robots.txt and actually ensure that you're not blocking uh, Googlebot or Bingbot, that's a separate video. Uh, and another thing is you just want to find uh, that you are not being hit by bad bots. So like I said, some of the SEO bots, you might not want them visiting, you might want. So there's some cases with Ahrefs and SEMrush you might want to visit to kind of update uh, the DR that they store for your site. And there's certain reasons why you might want them to visit. But in general, a lot of the kind of non-English um, search engines like Yandex and stuff, you probably don't want them. Uh, to be visiting as much so you can minimize those through robots.txt you can put uh, safe uh, kind of safety rails in there as far as uh, how many times you have them visit your site and uh, i do have a separate video on this by the way which i will link to 
but yeah, essentially you can minimize the amount of hits that these kind of bots do, and you can actually completely block them as well through the robots.txt uh, file that you have on your server. So this was a short video on how to see how many bot hits you're getting on your site. It's really important to do. It's an important thing to check on, at least I'd say every couple of weeks, maybe once a month, just come in here and just make sure that you don't have any kind of crazy numbers going on with bad bots and just ensure that you do in fact have good healthy numbers for Google and good healthy numbers for Bing. Very, very important. And hopefully you found this video on how to find bot hits on your site useful. Mm -hmm.